Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. We are being very fall over here drinking a pumpkin cream cold brew with our Lincoln Park After Dark Nails. Actually, this is like an off brand that I found on Amazon and did myself, but we are decorating for fall. I look forward to this all year and I feel like, yes, it's kind of early to decorate, but usually in the YouTube world you decorate even earlier than this, but I just wasn't there yet and now that I have done it, it was amazing. It was nice. I had some of the older kids with my mother-in-law and I was able to just enjoy the process and I was watching Practical Magic and also watching Hocus Pocus and just kind of enjoying myself and making the most of this. That's what I try to do when I do my clean and decorates and then for fall I like to do it on my own and then when we do like a couple things for Halloween in the kids room and in the playroom I let them kind of do their own thing and they help me out but fall is my jam and I hope that you all really enjoyed this video. The first thing I'm doing is just unloading the dishwasher so that we can go ahead and reload it. You'll also see me putting things away. I'm gonna vacuum out any crumbs that I see in the drawers as well. For those of you with large families, you understand this and we're really grateful and blessed that we have all this storage, but you know, it's a lot of plates and bowls and cups when you have four children that are eating. So that is why there's so much in this drawer. And I know some other moms out there can relate to all of the pieces you have to put back in your cups. Um, one of my sweet subscribers on here sent me these cups. They're like the munchkin snack cups on top but then a drink on the bottom. So obviously I had to get those for the kids and they love them. So thank you for sending me that link. So now that everything is put away, as far as the dishes go, I'm just gonna put away all the random baby dolls and other things that are scattered around the kitchen. Finally, it's time to reload the dishwasher. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that after this, our dishwasher broke for, I think, the fourth time in the six months that we've had it. So we've just not been having the best luck with new appliances. Our fridge is also broken for the second time. Luckily, it's still keeping things cold, but it's more like a technical issue. The touch screen is not really working for um, the water. And I don't know. It's just, if you have old appliances, keep those old appliances, don't get new stuff. Anyway, now I'm just putting in a nice fall diffuser blend. This has like some cinnamon, some orange, and um, ginger and nutmeg in it. It's a really nice blend. Putting that in and then getting started on cleaning up the sink.
I did this last year and I'm doing it again this year and it's just making a um, like a pumpkin spice cleaner so I'm just using a cap full of Thieves cleaner I'm gonna fill it up with some water and I'm just putting a little bit of my diffuser balm in here which is those oils that I mentioned previously but this just smells so delicious and clean and like pumpkin spice so I got the um, little decal on the front from Etsy last year and I never got to use it so I'm using it now and the bottle that I'm using is actually an old kombucha bottle. I was out shopping for fall things. I had been looking for one of these on Amazon. I just was kind of overwhelmed with the choices and colors but I found one on um, found one in TJ Maxx in the clearance section. It was I believe six dollars and what it is is an automatic hand sanitizer dispenser. And you know, it's fall. There's extra germs in the fall, as there always is. And the kids are back in school and in sports and things like that. So I think this is just like an easier option for them to just walk by, put their hand under, and have their hand sanitizer. It's very extra, but it looks clean. And again, it's just easier for the kids to get it out. I can't say enough good things about the Berkey. Everyone's always like, what is that giant silver thing in the corner of your kitchen? It's a Berkey. It's a water filter. You can fill with any kind of water and it'll filter it out. However, now that we have a fridge that has filtered water, we use the fridge all the time because I just like the way the water tastes. It tastes more fresh to me, but a Berkey is an amazing thing to have and also to keep in case of emergencies because like I said, it will clean any type of water. So I'm just going to store it down in the basement for when we need it or when we may use it again. We might even keep it down there if we get the basement finished just to have some water down there. But right now, I just love the fridge water. So the trash is emptied, the sink is clean, clearing up some more counter space. I'm taking this bamboo um, dish rack away for now, and then I'm going to go ahead and use a new one that I got from Amazon. I will use this uh, bamboo rack again. I really liked it, but I'm going for a different look right now in the kitchen for fall. Something different this year that I did was that I went ahead and have been slowly purchasing things all summer instead of just going out one day fall shopping. And I really liked doing it this way. I felt like I was creating like a real life mood board by just like slowly collecting things that I thought went together. And it also felt like this was me getting things that I really wanted instead of kind of settling. So yeah, now that Ella just came in and threw her book bag in the middle of the floor, um, this is what like mom life is like. It's just constantly cleaning and everyone's like, oh, how do you keep your house so clean with all those kids? And I don't, it stays clean for about two minutes, but it's good for my mental health and it's good to just, you know, sanitary reasons to actually clean your house. Uh, so that's the answer. My house does not stay cleaned. I do have a night routine where we clean every night and um, put everything away so that we can wake up to a fresh house in the morning. And that has worked for us for years and I really enjoy waking up to a nice clean kitchen. But anyway, cleaning my cooktop, putting everything back on there. I know you guys are like, wait, where's the decorating? It's coming. I just had to clean first.
think we had this conversation in my last cleaning video about the broom because I still just love my broom. Um, it gets, I don't know, my vacuum is good. Don't get me wrong, but I like using the broom and the vacuum. I just feel like it gets more. But yeah, I'm one of those people that still loves a good old fashioned broom. And wait until you see Rylan. I caught her on camera when I went to go and get the vacuum. From the first time I saw ya, you were not like the others, a cool kind of melody. You rattled my cage without warning, kept it upright till the morning, a new kind of ecstasy. You found a different side of me, the one I'd like to be, a different side of me such a stinker i was like rylan what are you doing she's like huh what i didn't do anything what are you talking about but yeah it's kind of gross but this all consists of crumbs probably just from today um having four kids eating is not a clean process but i wouldn't have it any other way i'm gonna miss these crumbs i'm gonna miss these handprints on the windows all of it so i kind of just you know don't let it get to me because i know truly deep down in my heart i will miss these days of my babies being so little So I kind of placed the home decor that I was going to be using in the kitchen out on the island right here. A lot of things from Walmart, a lot of things I already had. Um, some things from Amazon, some things from Target Dollar Spot. I'll link whatever I can down below, but like I said, I think a lot of it is just from random places that I've had over the years too. TJ Maxx, you know it's hard to link things from TJ Maxx, but this i had been dreaming about this setup since last fall and i finally found a stand that i liked on amazon i was concerned because i couldn't get the pegs in but you just need to actually hammer it so yeah i was really happy with how this all came out for those of you who are new here i stopped burning candles and using chemical cleaners a while ago it's just my personal preference if you use chemical cleaners that's completely fine i just have enjoyed switching over to more natural products and really enjoy them and I always get questions about where this diffuser is from it's from Young Living and if you want to know like what blends I use and how I make all of my cleaners and oil diffuser like the little diffuser bombs you can check out my Instagram it's beastin.essentials and that's where I have like a lot of the recipes at to be a different side of me yeah yeah you'll find a different side of me like someone pretty need a different side of me yeah yeah this literally brings me so much joy. When I first switched over to only using the diffusers, I was like, oh man, I'm gonna miss my fall candles. But the amount of fall blend recipes they have with oils is just so good. So you won't miss your candles at all, I promise. But these bottles right here are from Target Dollar Spot recently. They're so beautiful and I'm just using them around the house for diffuser water just to make it easier. And I'm getting ready to put out a hand soap and dish soap set. This I got from Amazon. And to be able to differentiate the two, I'm just making little labels on my Cricut. You know, I use the font. It's from Cricut and it's called Don Juan. And I pretty much use that for like everything. Papa used to tell me love should never drive you crazy But I lose my 
I really love how these came out and again this isn't just like fall you could keep this for year round so I'm sure a lot of these pieces I will be keeping um, until what what's next up next up is like Thanksgiving and Everly's uh, birthday party which I still have no idea what I'm doing for her first birthday party which is not like me at all um, I just never had a girl birthday party in the winter before so yeah give me some of your first birthday ideas because I am shocked that her birthday is in like under 80 days which first of all is unreal and second of all that I don't have like a plan and don't mind me just like messing up the entire kitchen over here trying to move the Nespresso but yeah that's the next things that I'll be like really decorating for like I said we're gonna do a little bit for Halloween probably do some stuff on the front porch um, and as well as the playroom and the kids rooms because they really enjoy all the cute little Halloween decor usually from Dollar Tree and Target Dollar Spot and then I think in my next get it all done I'm probably going to decorate the front porch I don't know it's kind of early I don't need a bunch of rotten pumpkins around so we'll see So I'm really liking how the coffee station is turning out. This wooden um, tray that it's on, I've had, geez, I think since we got married. I think it might have been on my registry. And we got married seven years ago, which is crazy in itself. Um, and then I ha already had that little um, pedestal right there. And the cute little pumpkin spice sign I got from Amazon. But it was from a small business on Amazon. So that was nice to be able to support a small business as well so I'll try to link that down below and if I forget just remind me also I'm really looking for a new sugar dish I'm so over this Ray Dunn one and I would love just like a cute little pumpkin or like a clear glass jar and I haven't been able to find one and then this here is just like vase filler and I got this from TJ Maxx and I'm so happy that I did because obviously I'm not filling a vase with it but I wound up using these all over the house I love how they looked and it was very inexpensive but yeah I'm happy with how the coffee bar looks um, I just really wanted to go with the real fall colors this year over the years I've done pinks and whites and I just wanted like real fall colors like burgundy and orange and the usual suspects but now I'm gonna go ahead and set up this dish drying rack it is not the same gold but it's okay it's rose gold it's okay I like it um, it works for what I need it and yeah in the old house I used to just use a drying mat but I've been liking using something like this lately So as you can see, I'm going with like the dark wood theme and this I got from Walmart in the middle of the summer. So I'm not sure if they still have it, but again, I like this because you can use it all year round and it's just, you know, it's just classic. So this tray is also another like classic piece that I absolutely love, like that dark wood and gold look. This was also from Walmart in the summer, so I got to see if they still have it to be able to link it. And then what the bananas are in is a cute little like pumpkin type dish. I don't really know what to call it, but that's from Target Dollar Spot a few years ago. You know, usually this is a lot more full, but I need to go grocery shopping, so I'll probably um have another like wooden bowl on the side or something like that we usually have a lot more produce especially now i'm starting a fitness challenge on monday uh tomorrow <laughs> called e2m and it's pretty it's pretty strict so you're gonna need a lot of produce and i'm, I don't know, I'm excited guys stay, tu stay tuned for that journey i'm just ready to feel strong i've also heard a lot of people say that it helped their thyroid a lot so 
that's E2M Fitness. We'll see how I do with that one. Um, but I'm excited because they have like a breastfeeding meal plan as well as a diastasis recti um, workouts. That's like a lot of women after childbirth have that issue in their belly. Anyway, moving on, I'm always off on like a tangent or thinking about five million things at once. I'm sorry. Now I'm putting up this wreath. I had this since last year and I really love this. I wish I would have gotten a better close up of it because it's beautiful and just really tied everything together. Next, I'm just putting our hand towels out. These are from TJ Maxx, and then we're going to move on to the living room. And the first thing I'm gonna do in the living room is just like pick up all of the toys, put those away, and then we're gonna clean off the mantle and put some decor on there. If you know what movie I'm watching in the living room, comment down below. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better, so much better. If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to like Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better Okay, so for the fireplace, you see that I'm like kind of toying with the more clean look, with the more layered look. I love the layered look as well, but I think I was just going for something a little bit more clean looking and more simple, so I just wind up layering it in the same exact direction. These were $12 at TJ Maxx. I thought that was such a steal. Again, got them like mid-summer because I knew I wanted like that dark wood, gold, orange, burgundy type look and I love them. And that was such an amazing price for something like this. 
these little leaves were from Amazon and I'm obsessed with them. I was worried because, you know, you never know what you're going to get with faux flowers or leaves or anything, but I was really happy with these. I only got one package. I was able to put two in each of these and then two in, um, you'll see like in the foyer area. These books were also a TJ Maxx find. I really want to switch out the ribbon because I'm not really going with that look this year, but it works for right now. And then these were very affordable. They were $30, the links, because you know, these can be really expensive, um, but this was from Target. Again, I'll try to link that below. And then these pumpkins I had, I think they're from Michael's from last year. Cause I'm fine on my own. So this cozy blanket is from Target. They also have some other colors. Don't mind the water spot on the couch because mom life. Um, so I'm just putting that on here. And then the pillows that I'm using are from TJ Maxx. The Hello Pumpkin Ray Dunn one it was kind of just because I didn't have anything else to go. I had a really hard time finding pillows this year. However, these pillows that I'm putting on right now are so incredibly soft and the kids love them. So that was a win. Um, but the Ray Dunn one that says Hello Pumpkin, that's kind of just because I had it. Um, I don't love it. Stay tuned for an entryway makeover. You guys know I've been dying to do something here. I just have such a hard time committing. Um, it's pretty plain right now. And that uh, little mat was from um, Michael's. And then now, was it from Michael's? I think so, I think it's from Michael's. It's been so long like collecting all of this stuff. Right now I was uh, taking the chocolate off the table. We had s'mores the other night and got all over the table and I guess I forgot that spot, but yeah. Cleaning that off, I'm gonna put a table runner on from TJ Maxx. The bowl that I already had is gonna go on top. And then I was gonna like kind of mess with the bar cart a little bit. I found orange wine glasses for $2 a piece at TJ Maxx and I just thought that they would be cute and functional decor. And then some faux candles that I got from Amazon.
And this cute little pumpkin is from Dollar Tree. I love that little sequin pumpkin. It brings me so much joy. So this is like the entryway between the bathroom and the playroom. The playroom is a hot mess. I'm not touching that. The kids can clean that later. Um, I'm just over it. So now I'm just taking down all of our summer decor. And this table I had for years from the old house. And I actually just ordered a new, more like natural wood look table from um, World Market. And I'm very excited for it to come. And I'm going to give this table to my sister because she can use something like this in her home. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get a new one, but I do really love how this decor came out. I did not have a plan for this table. I was just kind of winging it. The only thing I had planned for this table was that I had um, those leaves that I was talking about, and that was literally it. So I'm really happy with how everything came out because it was kind of just like, all right, let's use whatever we have to decorate, and I love it. So I'm just kind of decorating it with... Um, like these little pedestals that I got from the Target dollar spot. The sign that you'll see is also from Target dollar spot this year and it just came out really cute. So I'm going to shut up and let you see that. Also this lamp, I've been wanting something like this for the entryway. Um, this was $24 from TJ Maxx. So the kids and I, this is our favorite spot that we decorated. We all decided. And I love the Aria diffuser setup too. That was like amazing. Again, the bathroom is kind of like just using what we have left. Um, I got this little soap dispenser. I like this like gray and gold look. This was from TJ Maxx for a couple dollars. And then the shelves, uh, just, you know, bear with me here. Again, I didn't have a plan for them. So... I'm probably going to redo them a couple of times, um, but yeah, we're still trying to figure out what to do in this bathroom. I'm so bad at pulling the trigger because I'm not a trendy person. I'm just like, I like classic and that's just who I am and I like traditional. So I love how these trendy things look. I'm just so afraid to go ahead and do them. Like I would love like a dark wood paneling in here. Um, I don't know. What would you guys do in here? So I hope that you all enjoyed this video and that it gave you a little break from reality that we all need so badly. Um, I hope you got to just like veg out, drink your coffee, watch this video. And again, I can't thank you enough for supporting my channel and being here. I am so happy to have you. And I'm just, I've 
been loving talking to all of you in my DMs and the comments and I just more than anything want you to know how grateful I am for every single one of you that continue to show up and watch my channel over the past four years because I am just grateful and I feel really blessed to have all of you. So I'll